All right, guys, so I'm at Nick's office. Um, just got adjusted, and he's going to go over everything um, from basically my initial visit, the scans that he does, kind of go through, walk us through, explain everything, why he's doing what. Um, that will be another video to follow up. Um, you know, someone's going to have to videotape that, probably my wife or his wife. But um, we're just going to go through, you know, exactly what he's doing. We're going to show you guys. He's going to talk about that, too, in another video. But I want you guys to understand, you know, where he's coming from as not just a chiropractor, but kind of a, more of a doctor um, and the scientific approach that he's taking. Um, right, so uh, go ahead and take him here. All right. Uh, well, thanks for coming out and shooting this video. I'm excited to uh, share with just all your followers exactly what we've been doing here today and what we've been doing the past couple of visits as far as the adjustments, the scans, the assessment, um, everything like that. So uh, we'll get into that in a minute, but I guess to kind of backtrack a little bit, my credentials, um, I graduated from the University of Michigan uh, with my business management degree. Um, after I graduated with my business degree, I traveled and um, did a couple of different sales jobs and just really wasn't finding my true purpose and my true calling. And so from there, kind of with uh, being unhappy and just dissatisfied with um, kind of my realm of work, I traveled out to Davenport, Iowa, where I graduated with my doctorate of chiropractic, um, actually just this past June. Um, <laughs> and I got to dive into really the, the science, the research behind um, kind of the function within the body and got to really see exactly how the body operated because I think for a lot of um, Americans and just people in general, we judge our health based on how well we look and how well we feel or maybe how well we eat or how often we exercise. And when I started to really study the, the functionality within the body, I understood that there was a lot more to health and wellness than just how well we look, how well we feel, how well our diet is, or how often we exercise. Um, and when we actually look at the root, uh, I guess the root definition of health, the definition is actually this. It's what, uh, or I guess it's how well the body is actually functioning mentally, physically, and emotionally, not merely the absence of sickness and disease. The key word in there is function. And so when we look at the body, we can say, okay, so if it's all about now function rather than how well we look or feel or maybe managing symptoms or diseases, what controls all function within the body? The answer is simple. It's your nervous system. The nervous system literally runs your show for the whole body, um, especially for a lot of cystic fibrosis folks out there. It controls the lungs. It controls the lung function. It controls cardiac function. It controls digestive function, maybe thyroid and metabolism, attention. I mean, literally the nervous system runs the show for the whole body. And so that's what really got me excited about kind of one chiropractic, but also the work that we're going to be able to do with James and creating better function within him, creating better health. And um, just even the results within the first couple of adjustments have been absolutely amazing. So uh, what I want to do today is go into our assessment of the nervous system to show you exactly how we're getting the results that we are, um, but also kind of the science and the research behind it too. Um, so I want to go over the scans um, and give you a little bit better picture of exactly what we kind of did on that first visit. So you can see two different scans here. We have this one, which is the neurological component. We have this scan down here, which is the muscular component. Um, so if we look at this top scan, or if we really look at both of them, what we wanna see are gonna be white bars. White's gonna indicate on this scan, normal healthy nerve function. Um, white on this scan is gonna indicate normal healthy muscle activity. So I want to start with the nervous system because, like I said, that runs the show for the whole body, and that's the most important scan that we did in the whole, uh, I guess, entire first visit. So when we're looking at this, like I said, we want to see white bars indicating normal, healthy nerve tone. Um, green, blue, and red is going to indicate nerve stress and then the magnitude of that stress within the body. And so that's going to be our scale, like I said, for nerve stress on this initial scan. So let's take a look at this initial scan here. We're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. So we see this first crescendo right here. This crescendo at the mid to lower portion of his thoracic spine is giving the charge to the adrenals, um, which is controlling a lot of the hormone production within James's body. Now, if any of you have been following James for quite some time, you know that he's actually um, experiencing some low testosterone levels. And so we can look at the adrenal glands, we can look at that, and we can say, yes, the adrenal glands kicks out a little bit of uh, testosterone, but it has a lot to do with kind of the stress response in the body and cortisol production. And so we can see that there's stress here at the base of the spine, causing stress within the adrenal glands and causing stress kind of to the hormonal production within the body. Now, you might say, how, how is that? How do you know that? Well, 
When we look at the spine and nervous system, I always love to use this analogy that the spine and nervous system is very analogous to a fuse box. Where different fuses in your house go to different portions of your house, like fuse one might go to the washer dryer, fuse two to the AC unit. Different portions of your spine are gonna go to different portions of your body. And so let's take a look at the other side of this scan here. So we can see different colors kind of coordinate as we move down the spine. These are the different regions of the spine, if you will. So we can see different regions of the spine go to different areas of the body. So if there's stress in this area of the spine, it's gonna cause stress to these different organ systems and then possibly result in this group of symptoms. So we can systematically, like I said, go through the spine, see exactly where the stress and tension is built up within the spine, and then thus kind of figure out exactly how that's affecting the function of the body. Hippocrates once said, look well to the spine for the cause of disease, and that's what we're exactly doing in the office, is we're assessing the spine and we're assessing the nervous system. So let's go back over to the scans. So like I said, this crescendo right here is directly affecting the adrenal glands and the hormonal production. Flushing the way up a little bit to the mid portion of the thoracic spine, this is gonna be giving the charge to um, the major gut and digestive uh, kind of portions of, um, of that system. So to the stomach, small intestines, large intestines. Now, we can see that the neurology at the mid portion of the back right here is giving the charge to the gut and digestion. And with James being the bodybuilder that he is, he's obviously eating a lot of food. And if there's stress to the gut and digestive centers um, of his body, he's not gonna be able to get kind of his maximal um, nutritional components out of the food that he's eating. So one of the goals that we're gonna be doing um, kind of in the office is obviously to remove a lot of that neurological stress from the mid portion of his back, but also to improve his gut function so that he can get better nutrition out of his food and get the best bang for his buck when he is eating kind of all that, uh, all that food, if you will. So last component. This is the most important component for all the cystic fibrosis people out there. The top portion of the spine. When we look at the top portion of the spine, this has everything to do with the brain center, um, or the brain center, the brain stem. Um, the brain stem branches off and gives off what's called cranial nerves. One of those cranial nerves is called the vagus nerve. Um, the vagus nerve has everything to do with lung function, cardiac function, digestive function, all of that. What science and researchers are now calling that vagus nerve is the wandering nerve because it travels down into the neck, into the chest cavity, and into kind of the thorax. And so, like I said, it's going to give the charge to your lungs, to your heart, and also to your stomach. And so if there's any neurological stress to the top portion of the neck, it's going to cause stress to that neurological or that vagus nerve component, and it's going to thus result in uh, stress to the lung function, if you will. So we can systematically go through the spine again and say, where's the stress? How's it affecting the body? And up here, it's affecting the lung capacity. And so um, this is the neurological component, and I'll show you on the other side how that all related. So we can see upper portion of the neck, within the autonomic nervous system, or we like to term the automatic nervous system. So that controls everything that we don't have to think about. And also that vagus nerve up here, um, flushing the way down a little bit, we can see the mid portion of the thoracic spine being the major digestive center uh, to the body. And then below that, that final crescendo being um, kind of the charge to the adrenal glands. So this is exactly what he had going on, and this is gonna be the areas that we're gonna be specifically working at as far as de-stressing the spine and also the nervous system. Last component, the muscular component. Um, now, when we're looking at the, the muscular side of things, um, if there's a lot of kind of stress and tension built up within the thoracic part of the spine um, and creating a lot of muscle tension, that's not gonna allow the thoracic spine or the rib cage to be able to open and expand to its full capacity. Uh, now with cystic fibrosis, fibrosis being a lung kind of um, challenge, if you will, we want to make sure that we can get the best expansion and create the best um, functionality for those lungs as possible. And so that's what we're going to look at specifically within the muscular component to see where's that muscle tension really lying at. And so with his scan, we can see that all of the muscle tension is going to be here into the upper to mid to low portion of the uh, thoracic spine. And so all that muscle tension within that thoracic spine is just not allowing that thoracic cavity to open up and to allow that lung to expand to its full capacity. But also we can see that this is into his lower portion of the back or that thoracolumbar junction, uh, which is a huge transition zone for the low back. Now James was complaining, or not complaining, but he was expressing how he was really tight through the low back when he goes into his deep squats um, and how he just wasn't able to get full range of motion. This is it right here. It's because his 
uh, spine was locked up, his muscular system was locked up, and he just wasn't able to get that full range of motion because those muscles were kind of in protection mode and they were locked down. So this was the initial portion of the scan um, that we were able to see exactly from the muscular side, the neurological side, exactly what was going on, um, how then can me as a doctor kind of create better uh, improvement within the functionality within his body and get him kind of to a better spot um, physically, functionally, emotionally, spiritually, all that kind of good stuff. All right, guys. So uh, you guys see my check-ins here. Um, so you guys will be able to check out his uh, Facebook page. They have a website as well. What's the website? Um, it is www.getinnatehealth.com. So check that out. Um, he's local, so if you're in the Northwest Ohio area, um, stop in, check him out, maybe come in for a consultation, see what he has to offer. Um, I'm a firm believer in this, um, not just because he's my friend, um, because I believe in what he's telling me in terms of function. Um, I can tell you right now, like I said, I am already feel a lot better in my hips, my lower back. Um, and as, as, as you guys all know, um, with the areas that are stressed, um, we know how we all clench down when we cough. Um, so it just locks up your lower back and mid back. So getting released there and be able to breathe a lot better. I've already been experiencing that as well.